Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out World Box today, a god tier god simulator where we can create little civilizations with big ideas and really anything that our heart desires. So long as our heart desires the apocalypse. And I know ours does. Hey, speaking of the apocalypse, let's talk about our sponsor for this video. And that's Dying Light 2, which comes out really soon on February 4th. And you can pre-order it right now using my linky in the description. So Techland, the creators of Dying Light 2, just released the final episode of Dying to Know, which is basically a 30-minute show that features new gameplay and trailers, developer interviews about making the game, and fan contests that you can take part in. So what can you expect from Dying Light 2? Well, let me tell you. A sprawling open world where you can parkour to your heart's content, creative combat that you can use against zombies and people alike. I especially like messing with people. Day and night cycles that have their own share of unique dangers, like this guy, or this one, and a little bit of that. Oh my. Not to mention your choices in the game matter, and will shape the city as you play. And most of all, you can go it alone or pile in some friends for some two to four player co-op. I'm pretty pumped about this game. I played the first one to death, so I'm pretty excited to use my grappling hook, scale these rooftops, miss time all my jumps, and fall to my death, all while my co-op buddies are laughing at me. And did you know Rosario Dawson is in this game? Everyone loves Rosario Dawson. You can see more about that in that dying to know thing I talked about like 30 seconds ago. And again, Dying Light 2 is coming out on February 4th, which is right around the corner and you can pre-order right now using my linky below. So thanks again to Techland for sponsoring, and I'll see you on February 4th. Okay, so here we are in a randomly generated world. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first of many, and I'll tell you why. One, because of this thing in the middle. This active volcano that's slowly eating everything up. Reason two, there are disasters in this game. A whole lot of them, actually. We can raise and lower the temperature. We can strike lightning. We can cause earthquakes, tornadoes, and more. Oh, and we have another tab right here. What do you think those are? They look kind of like fish, don't they? Well, you're wrong. They're bombs, because that's the destruction powers tab. Look at all the random stuff we have. We got four kinds of TNT, fireworks, explosives ranging anywhere from grenades to nukes, and then if we're feeling really exciting, we can do a giant bowling ball, a meteorite, warning, can kill everyone if it lands on a village. Excellent. And I'm excited to try this one out. The heat ray. Hold to heat up the pixels, hold longer to melt them. Oh boy, are we gonna have fun. I am kind of curious though, like look how far the volcano has gone in the small amount of time I've been talking. If I just leave it here, what's gonna happen? In fact, what happens to everything if I just leave it here for a while? Well, let's put it to 5x speed and see if it slowly crawls out over time. Hold, please. All right, so it looks like not a lot can happen. It's the year 700 now, just making its beautiful Eye of Sauron right here in the center of our universe. Hey, what is this? What is that little turquoise dot? Why, it appears to be a fly. Auto named Ew, age 38. Oh my God. Flies can live to be 38 in this world? On these islands, there is other wildlife too. Like over here, we can see that we have stuff like foxes, which has the trait of wise. I would assume so, seeing as how you're 50 years old. And then we've got this island over here, which is mutually populated by rhinos and buffalo. Well, that's interesting. If you've survived this long, I assume that means you must be in perfect balance with the ecosystem, right? So let's mess with it a little bit. First things first, let's expand the land. We're just going to make it a nice little perfect circle here. Sorry that it's taken down some of the trees. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Ah, would you look at that? Nature is healing. Interestingly enough, though, the beast population hasn't really changed at all. I also don't think there's 200 creatures here. I think it's being influenced by all the other living beasts. I'm talking about all you cute furry little things. You're messing with my scientific research. And for that, we're going to give you the bowling ball. Okay, I really don't know what to expect from this, but here we go. Oh, 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 that's big. All right. <laughs> okay, great. Well, now that we know what it does here, have some more. And this is not exactly what I was expecting in the best kind of way. Well, this is a barely effective way to kill anything. What if we just introduce one predator? Will that take care of you guys? Run bunnies, run for your lives. What, are you, like, petrified by choice? Like it's Netflix or something? Well, your food meter is at 72%, and you haven't decided on your favorite food yet. But don't worry, I have faith that you'll figure it out. What are you looking out there for? There's nothing out there for you. I like how the bunnies, like, feel bad for this bear. Hey, it's okay. We can all be friends. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, I guess that's how little bunnies are made. Oh my god! Did the bear just- Yep, it sure did. I know it says you don't know what your favorite food is, but I think we all secretly know. Let's- just put you on your own island so you can think about what you've done. Or not. I didn't stop to think that you're just gonna swim across. I forgot that bears can swim. Try to pull a fast one on me, will you? That's fine. There's always bigger fish in the sea. And in this case, I mean this. A dragon. Okay, we'll just go ahead and put this down. Aw, oh, see, now we're talking. Prepare to meet your maker, bear. Or not. Where the hell are you going? What's so exciting for you up here? 
Oh, I see. You just wanted to harass these monkeys. I mean, I guess I kind of get it. They are trying to fight back, which as you can see is really working out for them. Okay, now we're talking. I think it's going back to the bear. Oh, just a love tap than somewhere else, huh? I couldn't help but notice it's doing everything but attacking the one thing that I wanted it to do. Oh, okay. Great. You did some fine work. Your services are greatly appreciated. Here's your prize. A heat ray. Here you go. Yeah, try and sleep through that. And scene. Oh, that really does some fun things to the landscape, doesn't it? And as an aside, either from the dragon's actions or my own, things are on fire. Oh, how unfortunate. All right, so be it. We're just going to handle this problem on our own. Just got to give it a feather touch until everything is turned into lava. I know that when you zoom out, it's like really chunky pixels, but it still feels so good. Ah, uh, see, that's much better. Everything is pure lava except for that one island. And now we can safely say that all the beasts here must be from that one island. So here we are, year 800. I think we're doing pretty good so far. And look at this. Some of these creatures have lived forever. I didn't know buffalo could live to be 148. Nature is crazy. So just to confirm, when left to their own devices, they don't really get much larger in population. But I don't know. Maybe now that the rest of the world's population is dead, maybe it'll work out different if we just leave them alone. So let's try. Okay, so we've been sitting here watching them do nothing for the last hundred years. Not a lot has changed. We have 95 beasts, which is a little bit up from what it was, but honestly, I don't think it's these guys. And here's my evidence. In our little blocky pixel world, we can make out a couple of things, like there's the volcano, and those little pixels moving around are the rhinos and the buffalo, which means what are these little white things moving around? Well, let's find out. Oh, crabs. Who knew they could survive a heat laser from space, or that they could live to be 87 years old? But anyway, these crabs would explain this discrepancy in the amount, meaning that over here the population is staying exactly the same. Well, that's not super exciting, but you know what would be? Adding more stuff. So let's re-add a bunch of nature. We already have our rhinos and buffalo, so we don't need to add that. But for all these other things, we're gonna add 50 of each, and we're just gonna let them duke it out and figure it out on their own. Okay, there we go. A big, disgusting, overlapping pile of pixels. Oh, yeah. Perfect harmony. Ah, nature. Just watching little pixel creatures fight other pixel creatures. Hey, wait a minute. It. Who invited you? I love watching this one monkey run from all these rhinos. Oh, and just like that, after a little bit of fighting, looks like the dust settled, and now there's all kinds of creatures on here. I can't really tell by taking a quick glance, but I think all they did is kill the wolves, and that might be it. And now that we have a more comfortable sample size, let's just let them figure out their surroundings, and we'll check back into them later. Don't let me down, you 185 beasts. And you let me down. It makes me sad to only see 125 beasts, but who doesn't like 29,000 deaths? I mean, I did give him 35,000 years to sort this out, so I guess this is what nature's equilibrium looks like. We've still got our buffalo, but also some cows and monkeys, and that appears to be it. My god, did you know that cows can live to be 145? And that buffaloes can become 202? My goodness, the things you must have seen. Well, I guess that's all past tense now, since you went behind that tree and died. We did it. We found the perfect circle of animal life. So let's screw with it some more. I believe this is the savanna biome, which is known for being hot. So let's see how it deals with a grasslands biome. We'll just go ahead and do a nice sprinkling of seeds. Now the savanna parts look like slices of pizza. Oh, this is exciting. We can actually watch as the biomes fight over the land. Ah, look at nature fighting over this, like a giant Petri dish. Kind of seems like the grasslands are taken over. So it sounds like we should probably introduce the most dangerous of prey, human beings. Besides humans, we do have other varieties like elves and dwarves and orcs, but we're gonna go basic for now with good old basic humans with basic needs. We're just gonna put five of you down right in the middle. Okay, play nice. And before long, they've got tools. They've already harvested some wood and now they're taking that wood and I don't know what I just saw. <laughs> Why can't you people leave that buffalo alone? It's 93 years old, leave it alone. Oh, and this one's so excited to work, she can barely hold onto her head. It's so creepy yet perfect. Sure didn't take long for them to build civilization, did it? They've already built themselves a little tent and a fire, which the cows seem to really love a little too much. So far, they're all in the same little group. You can tell because they're all wearing blue. Like this one that's dressed like Mario, if Mario were shirtless underneath. Ugh. Oh, hey, look, a rhino. I thought you went extinct. Hey, guys, you might want to be careful. They look a little tough. <gasps> See? What did I tell you? And you too. And you. And you. Well, I bet you guys feel stupid. You just died to a rhino that's 133 years old, which means it's all up to you, headless lady. Now, you're not going to do something dumb like attack that rhino, are you? You know, why am I surprised? Well, I guess the blue people have been defeated by their mortal enemy, the rhino. Oh, nature, you're so strong. 
See, there you go. You could have just left it alone and time would have taken care of it. I think that might have been the last one. So let's go ahead and try that again. We're still only doing five people. They need to figure out how to make this work. Okay, so they're off doing their thing. Plowing fields, making a big fire. Oh, and look, they've got fancy shirts now. They're ready to go to the office. And while they're doing their thing, let's go ahead and check out some of their kingdom info. So far, we have one kingdom, the Sockish. Well, let's change that. Second chance failures. Yeah, I like that a lot more. And let's change the pre-made slogan. Our ancestors sucked and we probably suck, but we'll do our best to see if... Okay, that's as far as it lets us type. Our ancestors sucked and we probably suck, but we'll do our best to see. Absolutely perfect. I wish them all the best. Oh, I also forgot to mention, but I named this whole area Failureville. I don't know, it felt appropriate. Seems like this might be going better the second time. Mostly because there's no single one rhino to just ruin everybody. So basically what happens is over time, they start to develop their own civilization. Their tents are slowly turning into houses. They've started to have children of their own. And civilization grows and grows. And what a nice harmonious life. We already have 24 people. I got an idea. It's the year 36,944. That means in 56 years, 37,000. Let's check back in with them then and see how they're doing. And there we are. Well, look at that. We have all these little houses. We even have whatever the hell this is. Obviously a ski lodge. Oh boy, and look. Apparently we have a standing army. Nice weapons, you dorks. Oh my god, they're actually wielding sticks. Created by Viru from Second Chance Failures 27 years ago. Ah yes, the family stick. Passed down through generations of Second Chance Failures. They're not all like this, though. Look, this one has a wooden sword. Rare weapon. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that. That definitely wasn't a lie your parents told you. And what's with the shield over this guy's head? Why is he so special? Besides the fact that their traits appear to be slow and ugly. But your favorite food is sushi, so you're a winner in my book. I think they must run the army. That's my assumption. Does that mean they follow this person around? I think they do. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? And does that have anything to do with this tool? I certainly hope so, because that's what we're doing. Divine Magnet. Grabs creatures to be dropped somewhere else. Alright, everyone move. I want to take just the one guy. Don't try to hide behind a tree. It's not going to save you. There you are. I got you. Ha ha. Oops. Picked up a couple others. Well, whatever. Anyway, get in the ocean. Okay, there he is. Why aren't you following them into battle? What if I bring him back to land? Okay, Okay, so they do try to follow them. Come here then. What if we drop you off like right here? I don't get it. Why don't you want to follow them? Don't you idiots believe in your leader? Well, what if I take one of you and drop you in the dead center between the two places? Where are you going to swim now? Back to shore. Okay, you leave me no choice. Let's pick up all of these people. I've picked up the whole army here. Pick a side. Go. Okay, well, that's not really picking a side at all, is it? I feel like you don't know where you're going. I mean, at least this I get. Coming back to shore obviously makes sense. But where the hell are all of you going? I guess we'll just see how this plays out. This is the grand journey of humanity after all. Ah, it looks like some of them are safely here ish. I can't believe you're all swimming all the way up here. Why would you do this? What makes you think this is a good idea? Ooh, you know what? They might not be there that long. Look what's being made right now. And look at that. They've chosen a new commander even though the old one is still alive. I guess they just decided they didn't need him anymore. Well, what are you guys waiting for? Do you want to mount a rescue or what? Oh boy, here we go. Nope, never mind. It's just a fishing boat. Sorry, guys. I don't think you're going to make it out of here. But don't worry. I'm going to find a way so that you can die with honor by turning into a zombie. Just a couple of dashes of this and that. And before you know it, ta-da! Brains are on the menu. Including the cow? I had no idea. Oh my god, look! Rescue is upon us! No? You don't want to pick him up? <laughs> is anybody interested in being rescued? Oh! Oh, they're coming to get you. Oh my God. Quickly, friends, make your way to the boat. Quickly, before it's too late. Quickly. Oh no, that sucks. But hey, at least these people got rescued, right? Right? And don't you want to get in there? Why aren't you getting in the boat? Guess not. The boat's leaving without you. <laughs> Bye. And now it's on its way home. Ah, yes. Definitely scrape the boat on everything. That's just some good sailing. It did it. It brought our people back. I guess I was a little premature in turning you into zombies, huh? Quickly get on before the zombies see you. Oh, or make the poor decision to go fight the zombies. Well, I guess <laughs> the boat just takes off. Well, that sure is nice that it goes and picks people up. Can't beat that service. Now, what happens if I trap you inside? First, it appears the boat just sits here for many, many months because realistically, that's how long it took for this dude to walk up to the boat anyway. And then it just sits here waiting for something, anything. Oh, I see. They just send another boat to pick the rest of the people up. But wait, there's still two people on board. And also, what the hell is the name of this culture? Can we change this? Ah, we sure can. License. 
to not know stuff. We are quite the culture, aren't we? And to my complete shock, it seems that most of our people have been rescued. Most of them. Well, this is all fine and dandy, but we really need to give them something to do. Just look how bored they are. You know, I've got an idea. Let's build another civilization and let's build it right around this one. And because the village in the center has a head start, we're going to give them some extra people. A lot of extra people. Like a lot, a lot of people. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yep, just a couple more. For some reason, the frame rate isn't liking this. Don't know why? Don't care why. I think in the middle ring here, there's about 300 total villagers, which means that out here, there's about 15,000 people, of which most of them are on this little square right here. Unpause. Uh, yep, there they go, spreading out like a tidal wave starting. Oh my god, it's just so many people. Yeah, that's right. Form a very, very solid single file line going that way, and then one going that way. Where's everybody headed? Where are you going? Uh, I see they're coming together at the top to form, I don't know what, a lot of mingling, I guess. I also see something kind of interesting happening here. A boat from across the really, really tiny river has made its way over here, and you can actually see now there's two distinct groups. We've got the light blue people, and then we have some people from across the way, and I don't know what they're doing here, but they sure brought a lot of their friends, so hopefully soon they don't get along. Oh, look, they built their first house, and oh my god, everybody's going inside. Yes, don't worry, <laughs> there's room for everybody in there. Oh my god. God, this looks ridiculous. How many people are in there? And how are things going on down here? Oh, look, they formed their own tribe, separate from the other one. And they've got two houses to shove all these people in. I love it. It's like a steady train of ketchup and mustard. Oh, and that's not all. There's even a separation right here. Over on this side, we have another group. Surprisingly, no one's building anything right here. Probably because this crap is in the way. That said, I think we're about to face a true dilemma, which is everybody is starting to get hungry, which makes sense. After all, I didn't put any animals on this space, so something tells me that we're gonna start seeing some mass death real soon. That's okay. I'm sure you guys could just sleep it off. Kind of wonder if we make a little bridge right here, will they march over and start taking everything? Let's find out. Quickly, Buffalo, get to our side of the land. This is your chance to feed like one person in a nation. Uh-oh. The militia's here. Oh boy, this is getting weird. You guys better start making some moves. You might get hungry soon. Oh, oh, hungry is an understatement. Oh, it's happening over here too. In fact, it's happening over the entire ring. Either way, let's go ahead and close this up. No one seems interested anyway. Oh God, it's so alarming when everyone takes damage simultaneously. So what's the plan, fellas? Are you gonna be able to figure this out? Or are you just gonna keep taking damage over and over again? You know, I think I do know one solution, but I don't know if you're gonna like it. Oh, what the hell, we gotta try. Come on, friends, I have a new assignment for you. I'm just gonna drop you off right into this space right here. You know, where it's not too populated. Have fun. Now they're being attacked. This much is true. But there's a couple infected in there. So I think some things are gonna happen. 26 infected. Yep, it's starting to spread. Try as they might, I'm not sure if they can handle all the zombies that are being created. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, come and try and fight them in your hungered, weakened state. Yeehaw! Oh, God. Looks like some got launched to the mainland and things are on fire. So much is happening here. We got zombies coming in from this angle. Meanwhile, we have zombies fighting up here and a bunch of stuff on fire down here. This is honestly better than I could have ever hoped. The world on fire and everybody in a panic. Try as they might, I think it's time to admit that all is lost. Even the center has fallen to the zombies. Well, looks like the zombies won. It wasn't really part of the plan for them to get to the middle, but I guess we were playing with nature, so what did I think was gonna happen? I bet you're glad you're out there now, aren't you? So I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm gonna use some meteors to hide the truth about what happened here, and I'll see you next time.